been a while since I've been at my home park, but that's because I just got back from Florida a couple days ago. Three days prior to me recording this, I was at Six Flags over Georgia. I rode there Justice League 27 times to try and break 700,000, which I was not even close to doing. So I'm gonna see how easy ours is by comparison. Since I'm a little bit after opening, obviously not doing first train on Eagle, cause well, I saw it cycle a guest order from outside the park. So we're not gonna be first train on it. I'm gonna go try out our Justice League, see how I do on it, and then go get on Mr. Freeze, see how it compares to the other launch codes I've been on ever since I left for that trip. Cause there was a few intense launches that this thing is up against. So let's see how we do on Justice League today. After almost a month of not riding this, I double maxed it second try. I don't know how I managed to pull that one off. Keep in mind, my arm is still sore from riding the one in over Georgia 27 times a few days ago. And freezes close, so I guess that's not gonna be my next stop, but oh well. I guess it's off to boss now. In the second screen, my depth perception was off because in over Georgia, I was shooting the technical panels, but I was very close to them, like actually. So I thought I was gonna be really rusty with that second screen, but I got a second try at double max. So that literally came out of nowhere. on boss and it was pretty good not the best ride i've seen it run because it wasn't quite as intense but the sense of speed i remember the right happened was still there i know mr freeze is testing as i just heard it just now you guys see it going up to the invert top end just a second here like there it goes so i'm gonna be going over there right now to ride that because i haven't done it yet because i was gonna ride it after justice league but it was close so i haven't been on it yet and i'm intrigued to see how the launch on it compares to other launch coasters i've done on my recent trip including but not limited to velocicoaster icebreaker and hagrid so let's head down to Miss Freeze and take a ride or two on it. Do you guys like surprises? <laughs> I got the first ride of the day on Mr. Free's front row Zen ride, because they hadn't opened it all day, as a matter of fact. Out of the premier rides coasters I rode within the past few weeks, aka Icebreaker, Revenge of the Mummy, and Tigress, I thought all of those had better launches than Mr. Freeze did just now. The launch was very weak, and then it cut off abruptly towards the end, so it was by no means intense at all. So, a little disappointing there, but the ride was still good. I actually think I might like Boss a little better, but then again, this thing just opened. I got first train of the day. Like, they literally just set the second train, which is on that launch. So, I'll need to come back later when it's warmed up. Do you like to come back now? Not even three hours into the day, Justice League's already gone down four times. One of those being while I was on the ride, which I don't know how many times that is at this point that I've gotten stuck. It's Justice League, so something was bound to happen, but four within three hours, that's not good. <laughs>
was screaming eagle, but that was down due to gas illness. So let's take a ride on the Tommy G. Robertson. Let's do a lap around the park with it. I need to be a turning coming in for Story talk class is filled with women and since the George Fair's original wheel will be featured in the this compact coach featured main story drop and and it crossover itself not once, not twice, but inside. Mr. Freeze is surrounded by Arizona Island is surrounded by Fed on all new lucky ways to be sure to stop by and make the big room for some section of the park and so it's going to be super fly. Assisting to the board, they're helping them to build up a, a metal deposits in this wheel, working in the locomotor. <laughs> While the other pan waits for the children, simply when the other pan returns, just simply swap places. Got a couple shots from the Tommy G. Robertson Railroad, and I was about to ride just as again, but it is down right now, dude. The way power outage, so it's gonna be down for a while. So I'm gonna ride Mr. Freeze again since I'm in the area, and then I'll go back up to Boss if Justice League doesn't fix by the time I get back over here. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it's down the rest of the day, honestly, but I don't know. We still got about half the day left. Back row on Mr. Freeze absolutely killed the front row on it for today as I was running much faster and more intense. Right after I got off of it, it went down for technical reasons, so I barely made it. Justice League had that power outage, so I waited it out for a little bit and they reopened it and I got the first ride on it. That's what reopened as a send ride, so pretty solid there. Ellis is actually heading this way and then he and I will tackle Justice League in just a minute here. experience up here. We were about to use the flash pass on it. Someone who had already ridden it with the flash pass tried to go twice in a row. I think the ride hops let him go by accident or They're something. They're not supposed to do that, man. That's breaking the rule. Yeah, I know. But I mean, it is what it is. By that point, all the other good roads have been taken. I'm like, it's not worth the headache, so we're out of here. We'll come back to this one in a little bit. I haven't done Batman or Screaming Eagle yet, and I want to do both of those. We're going to head up to Eagle and then do Batman right after.
and Boss all in the front row. That man was like my first time riding in the front in a decently long time, and it was nice to experience that again. Maybe not quite as intense as ever, but still good. The Green Eagle wasn't as rough as I thought it would be since I got the red train, and the red train always runs rougher than the blue train. It wasn't too rough this time, which I liked, and it was way better than Great American Scream Machine at Six Flags over Georgia, although that was not a bad ride either. And then Boss was insane. Great airtime, good laterals, not too rough. Overall, no complaints about any of these three rides. Ellis and I had a pretty good marathon on Justice League. And since we started early, let's end it early and get some darker rides. So first is Boss, and then if time allows, Scream and Eagles. So let's do it. Got a ride on Boss, which sadly wasn't very good because some people were screaming in my ears the whole ride, and that hurt. Let's do Scream and Eagle now and finish off the night. Fireworks are starting any minute, and since I don't have any earbuds to protect my ears from it, I gotta hurry out. So I'm gonna end this vlog quickly. Eagle, Dust Ride, great end to the day. And final ride count was 15 on Justice League, 3 on Boss, 2 on Scream and Eagle and Mr. Freeze, and then 1 on Batman. And also 2 laps on the time of Drops and Railroad. And in terms of highlights, the last ride on Eagle was probably the best ride of the day. Getting the second try double match was amazing. And that second ride on Boss was awesome. And before I start the video, please sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment away and join about this video and be sure to share it with someone else to be now. If you're new on this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Like I'll hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I appreciate you subscribing and tell the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account with the pictures I take whenever I visit the parks, so be sure to check me out there as well if you have the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later. <laughs>